Hi Aries, how's it going? Welcome to my channel. This is your reading for the new moon in Taurus, which is your money house. Hey girl, hey. Look at this. I was just thinking, I was going to tell you about the fixed star here called uh, Mankar, and it's in conjunction with the new moon. And uh, it's all about like the subconscious screwing you over a bit. So you want to be careful with how you spend your money right now. If you want to like spend all your money suddenly, you may want to wait uh, you may want to wait a couple days queen of pentacles flopped over when i was doing that and she represents that there's like boundaries that you have to kind of uphold and restrictions that you need to live by right now so i think that that's you the queen of pentacles uh right now being careful with financial spending in the long run you'll be fine but for now just curb the appetite a little bit okay so you also have venus on a square in your first house a square from the south node to the north node it's on the t-square so in some way she's creating some kind of uh challenge for you to get from point a to point b spiritually so you're like progress what you how you want to express yourself right now especially in a loving way is in conflict with where you are going spiritually in your home so the conflict between love and home okay a conflict between releasing things to do with career moving towards where you want to be in the home and then a conflict that has to do with the way you express love this is Mars in Gemini and I'm surprised it didn't come up more in the reading you're the 11th sign I'm reading for Mars is in Gemini at 22 degrees with the fixed star Capella, the desire to move. I feel like you may be torn emotionally between two different uh, things, maybe wanting to go in one direction for, for family and another direction for love. Here is the next message, and there's a lot of movement that might be going on around that. We have adjustment as well. Some of you might be wanting to move. Mars moves into your fourth house on the 15th, and I feel like that will be a good time for you to make a decision about a move. In July, you're going to have uh, the next Mercury retrograde period. I'm already planning for it. I don't know why. It's going to be a gong show. Here is the next message. We have the Herophant. And so we have the teacher learning a lesson, adjusting certain things. I feel as though a problem becomes a learning opportunity. And I think that you go back to something to do with your school that if you are in school, a learning lesson that created some kind of a obstacle that was hard for you to get through and now you sort of make some fine adjustments and then you will get through it and sort it out the next message is the two of cups hey girl hey that's cancer right here in the fourth house and what this represents is that this is uh this is uh venus in cancer venus will be in cancer soon that will be a good transit like in two three months oh in july she'll be there in july as well um so I feel as though you're putting more love at a situation that caused you a certain degree of worry and you're releasing all of that. You might be physically moving, you might be physically changing location, but your attitude is also more of a loving nature and that has to do with like the circumstances leading up to the present time are more favorable for you to have a positive disposition. You know, sometimes we just have a bad mood and we can't help it because of the time. Um, and then we have the Ace of Pentacles at the center, new beginnings. You're definitely thinking about something new financially right here. And in fact, the Sun and the Moon are a loose sextile to the North Node. So you're getting some ideas about where you want to spend your money. The Moon is actually at 14 degrees Taurus, which is exalted. But the specific exaltation point of the Moon is 3 degrees Taurus, conjunct Uranus. So that idea may show up right before the new moon, and then on the new moon, you'll really hit home with it, okay? It should be happening, actually, as I record this. So hey, girl, hey. Here is the next message. We have the star. I love this. This is the star, this is the star card that I used for myself when I was a teenager. 
I love it so much. I think I fell in love with all of this stuff the most because of this card. It was so beautiful. And I, and so anyway, I think that, I, and I still make backgrounds like it. Hey, <laughs> the color scheme, uh, complimentary color scheme. Anyway, so I feel like this can represent a soulmate, you guys, but this can also represent being really in the middle of some wonderful times to do with work, to do with school. Direction in life is really, really great. Your direction in life is going in a wonderful direction. There might be an opportunity in school. There might be a, a love offer from someone. Um, someone. Someone could also be coming in for you through your education or through your schooling, you know, or your community. The signs that are here are Mars in uh, Gemini. We have Libra, Taurus, um, Aquarius, Ace of Pentacles, and Venus in Cancer. So a lot of different signs are popping up. Here is the next message, the Knight of uh, Swords. This is the King of Swords, Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra. Um, maybe that Mars in the third house communication. I feel as though somebody is determined to improve things in the past and say nice things and improve the situations or the circumstances. The next message is the Four of Cups. And what this represents is that maybe things have been idle for a little while. This card is repeating for all the signs. And it's time to take up something and move forward. Put effort towards that which you want. That kind of thing. Also, an offer made. I think this this uh, person is making an offer on the bottom is his kind of double the, the Prince of Swords. Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra. I feel like there's determination to move away from difficult times towards better times. And then we have the Magician. Okay? The Magician. This is a powerful connection. Somebody's about to make something really huge happen in your life or in their life and your life together. I feel like they're putting a lot of effort behind something. And it's all to get away from bad circumstances to bad times in your lives. Three or four of these are higher arcana all over here. I feel like if you need to apply to school, then do it right now. I feel like applications to school, especially school that you you wanted to apply to before, this is the time to do it. I feel like the I feel like there's how do you I feel like there's some types of offers that are being exchanged between people, sincere offers. I feel like I feel like someone who has a lot of power is considering to make a proposition to someone else. Someone who has a lot of resources, money, uh, whatever kind of influence somebody's thinking about somebody else. And I feel as though there's maybe more effort being put into a relationship. A relationship that was maybe even a reunion uh, where two people reconnected after some time. And now the people are putting in more effort to make it better because I think something might have flopped at first, flop, and then it bounced back and, and both people want it to work so they're kind of putting on their big, ba big boy pants, okay? These are the extended on Vimeo. They're available at the May Tarot, May Extended, okay? So go over there and check them out. There's, I think, five playlists in there if you guys are interested for me. Or there will be. There's three now. This is the little bonus card, oracle card at the end. We have reflection. I think somebody thought about the relationship and they want more now. They want to improve the relationship. I feel like somebody wanted more. Now they're, they're, they've learned from the mistakes in the past. And I feel like maybe this has to do with there was a breakup because of a distance or a distance between people. And I feel like somebody's more willing to come closer or put the effort in to be closer. Somebody's maybe changing their job as well around you to do with this whole relationship. This to me seems like a microcosm of one relationship. It's not like a bunch of things going on in your life. This is mostly messages about... A relationship between two people, a new beginning, offers are made, there's kind of coming to terms with how you feel, 
putting effort in to improve a dynamic between two people. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.